To make the reviewing and storing of your end of year data as easy as possible, we recommend that you consider following a few end of year procedures. Once all your information for the year end has been entered into your data file, such as completing month end tasks, ensuring the bank has been reconciled to 30 June, and you have cleared the suspense accounts, then we recommend that you follow the following. You should back up your file, lock off the period, and then start a new financial year. To back up the file, you need to back up the file, clearly identifying that it is a year end backup to 30 June in the current year. It is important that backups are stored off site. To take a backup in Mile, continue. Navigate to where you'd like to save the backup. And clearly identify that it's to 30 June in the current year. MyAuth has now backed up your farm. An easy way to store your backup file off-site is to upload the file to our data system using our large file transfer. To do this, navigate to our homepage at www.oconnellsobm.com.au. In the right-hand corner of our homepage, you'll see the large file upload. Click this. Here, you just need to provide your name and email address. Click Browse to upload the file that you backed up. You can add a second file if required, and if you upload the wrong file, just click Remove this file to delete the attachment. You can attention it to a specific personnel in our office, and you can provide some details to let us know what it is. There's a human test down here that just needs to be applied before you can hit Begin Upload. This will then upload the file. Now you should set your data file to disallow entries to the year you have just finished processing. To lock off your file in MyOB, navigate to the Setup menu across the top of the screen. Click Preferences, navigate to the Security tab, click Lock Period Disallow Entries to, and add the date of the end of the financial year, such as 30 June 2013, and click OK. Now if you attempt to process an entry prior to 30 June, Maya will disallow it and give you a message that you are unable to process entries in a locked period. This procedure is very important as no entry should be made to the financial year data once we have received the final product in-house. If changes do need to be made for this period, then we should suggest you notify us so that we can take into account the effect of the changes and advise you how to handle them. Finally, you need to start a new financial year in MyOB. This will allow you to run reports for the financial year, the prior financial year and the next financial year. To do this, select File from the menu items across the top of the and go to start a new financial year, start a new financial year, click continue and follow a few prompts to start the new financial year. If you're running a payroll register, this will be needing to be done before the financial statements are completed and you can find instructions on how to do this under closing a payroll year and starting a new one in the MyOB help directory. We hope this clip has assisted you in performing your MyOB year end procedure. Please feel free to contact our office should you require further assistance.